Hi, I'm Julie Carver, your independent Norwex consultant. And in this video tonight, I'm just going to go through some of my favorite products real quickly and share with you what I love about them. This is our forever bottle. It has a plastic or a rubber kind of surface on the bottom so it doesn't slide. And what I put in here is our degreaser water and our dish soap. So the recipe for that is a cup of water, a third a cup of soap, and two capfuls of degreaser. And this is what I use for my dish soap on my counter. Which one of these would you rather have sitting in your kitchen? Yuck. Very pretty and clean and neat. So this is what I use in my kitchen all the time. And just kind of to show you how easy it is, if we're all using these water bottles, the kids use them all the time. So you just squirt your soap right in there, run your water in it, use your bottle brush on it, and it's clean. So it's fantastic. I really like this. And I thought I would show you how it, it really does foam up. So, yes, you can see that. And that is our Forever Bottle. They are come in packages of three for $43, or they're $16 a piece. Okay, another one of my favorites is our netted dishcloth. And I use this to, um, I just leave it hanging on my um, sink here. And I wet this, put a little bit of soap on it. And if I have dried on food on a plate or whatever, I use it to scrub it off. It works fantastic for that. I also have one that I keep in the garage when I wash my car. You can use it on the front of your car to get all the stuck off, the bugs that are stuck on and dried on off. So I have a separate one out in the garage for that. And then another thing that I like to use it for is rinsing my fruit. So I just kind of uh, grasp it together so that I've got a little place to put them. I put my, I put my blueberries in here. So now it's in the little pouch and I just run it under the water and kind of rinse off the blueberries and I'm done. I can shake it out. You can do this with strawberries, raspberries, about anything that you need to rinse, kind of use it as a colander. And then I can just put the fruit back into my bowl and it's all rinsed off. Um, when this does get dirty or get food stuck in it, we just rinse it out in the faucet and then I put it on the top shelf of my dishwasher. Make sure it's kind of hooked onto something and I run it through the dishwasher and it comes out very clean. Um, the other thing I really like about it is when it gets soap in it, it holds the soap so you're not wasting soap in your kitchen. And that's the netted dishcloth. Okay, now what I'm going to show you is my oven door and I have our cleaning paste here and I have the spear and net. And my oven door is clean except for this little corner over here and I think this is a pretty good video, you can see that. So I'm going to take the spear and net and I'm going to put some cleaning paste on it and I'm going to scrub this corner that hasn't been cleaned. I saved that corner just for you guys. And then I'm going to take my Enviro cloth and I'm going to wipe it off. And hopefully this is a good video, but you can see that that is now clean. Our next product is our counter cloth box set. Um, when you purchase this, the box set comes with six counter cloths in it. I think I have 10 or 11 in here, so it will easily hold 12. And this is what I use a counter cloth to replace paper towels in my kitchen so I don't have to buy paper towels anymore. Um, at first, it was a little hard to get used to. So what I found was if I put my counter cloth or put my paper towels in my pantry where they weren't in sight, then I would get more used to just grabbing my counter cloth. Um, when Mia's at her house now, she doesn't ask for a paper towel or a napkin. She asks for a Norwex. So um, these are super absorbent. I'm going to show you I have a third of a cup of water in my container here. And I'm going to show you that the counter cloth will absorb all of that water. So very absorbent, lots of uses in your kitchen, no water in the container, and this is not even completely wet at this point. So these have replaced paper towels in my kitchen. Absolutely love them. I'm not throwing paper towels in the trash can all day, and I'm not buying paper towels at the store every week. Okay, so the next product is our all-purpose cleaner, which we make out of our laundry soap, our UPP, and water. So you see how dirty the door is here. I'm just going to spray it on there. We're using our forever bottle, and I'm using an Enviro cloth. And as you can see, it's just an all-purpose cleaner that will clean most everything. And so this is my all-purpose cleaner that I used. Just or the um, 
forever bottle like I did my dish soap. And the recipe for this is eight ounces of water and a half a teaspoon of Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent. Again, in the forever bottle, makes an all-purpose cleaner for anything you need to clean in the house. Okay, and the next product I want to show you real quick is our Enviro wand. Um, this clean, cleans with static charge, and this is a replaceable sleeve that you can take off and replace it. It is flexible, and this little guy allows you to dust in many different places. An example would be the ceiling fan. Okay, you can clean that. You can come over here and clean up here, places that you can't reach. Otherwise, great spot to clean. Um, if your vents are dirty up above, that's perfect. Just take one swipe across your vents and they are clean. Or like on your banister here. Hard to get places where you can got to get in between things. Uh -huh. So lots of great little uses for this guy. Um, one of my, most of my uh, customers absolutely love the Enviro wand. And another fan favorite that I'd like to go over with you real quick is our mop system. Um, this is a superior mop system size that I'm showing you here. We also have a smaller mini mop. Um, this is the dry pad, which is used for basically sweeping your floor. As you can tell, you just figure eight and pick up all your dirt, okay? Um, it is an adjustable so that you can, you know, make it different lengths. The other thing that is really nice about the mop pad is the Enviro wand fits on the end so you can reach way up high with it. Um, like I said, this is the dry mop pad and it says right on the back, floor dry. And these belts are on and off. If I was done dusting, then I would be ready to mop. I would wet this. I usually just lay it on the floor and then I... Put it down there, kind of step on it so it secures well. And now I'm ready to mop with just my water to clean 99% of the bacteria off my floor. And if you, if it gets a little dry, you can always re-wet it. But they do have various different mop heads. This is the chenille one, and it's good for larger particles on your floor. Or if you have cats, dogs, picks up pet hair really well. They have a tile one that's made specifically for tile that I do not own. Um, and then for your mini mini mop system, they also have a window pad so that you can use your extender, put it on there, and you can reach hard to, hard to get places on your windows if you have windows that are out of reach. And like I said, this is one of a fan favorite is our mop system, and we like to call it the forever mop system. All right, so the next product I want to highlight is our rubber brush. We have this size, and then we have one that attaches to our mop. A handle so it's a, about over twice the size but this little guy is great for pet hair so I just swept the basement floor here just real quick with my mop and it's really dirty so we're gonna zoom in on that so you can see it and once you're done um, cleaning with your mop head you see here you take the rubber brush over it look how much hair it got off of my rubber my mop just to clean your mop up so then it just kind of balls up and you can just take it and throw it away um, Here's a chair that we don't use to sit in, but my cat sits in it, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but it's full of hair. So I will take this brush once in a while, and you can see again how the ball, the hair is just kind of balling up on this chair. So it takes a little time because there's so much hair on this, but if you can see here, all this hair that I'm, I'm getting off my chair. Like I said, this isn't going to be done in, in one second because there's a lot of hair here, but it's, it's very obvious how it gets the, the pet hair off of your furniture. And like I said, this is an extreme case. So that again is our rubber brush. And like I said, we have this small handheld one and we also have one that goes on our mop. Um, I've seen a lot of people, um, some of our consultants that live up north that um, are using the big one to, to push the snow off of their, their um, patio. Um, I use it when we go camping we have a slide and I can reach up there and clean the stuff off of the top of the slide before we put it in. So the rubber brush again is a fan favorite.